So yeah guys, this is what you get when you're buying the Arctis Nova 7, besides great sound of course. But you get a cable, extension cable for the USB-C, and you also get your you know, phono cable and a USB-C dongle, and a robot in paper, which you need to be dissolved, which I did here a bit, yeah, all by myself. It was kind of a hustle to figure out, but well, here it is, it's a, it's a paper robot, yeah. All right, and you have these headphones. I don't know the purpose of the robot, besides it looks pretty cool, and it's pretty fun to do if you are seven years old, and a seven year old probably will do this better than me. Anyways, let's jump into the test of this Arctic Nova 7 from the guys called Steel Series. You know, the awesome dudes from Denmark. Yeah. All right, let's do it. So guys, here I am, Leon. This is how it looks like before you just saw my hands. So, first of all, this was included in the package. The name is Lars, apparently it says on the top, Lars. It's a paper figure. If you like to have it, you can just pop your, you know, a comment down here and yeah, give me your address and I will send it to you. It's a, it's a cool little dude. I don't need it in my life, so you can have it. All right, let's jump into the review of this headset from SteelSeries, you know, the Danish company, which are really good. Yeah, they make good stuff. High quality stuff, high end stuff, which works really well. I've been using them for years and yeah, I love it. Yeah, I love it. You find your brands, you know, that you really love and then you use it all the way. Also another favorite is HyperX, I need to mention, because I'm not sponsored anyway, so, well, I don't have any commitments. So the, the, my fav favorite brands is SteelSeries and HyperX. And well, it depends on what you do, but when it comes to this headset that they released in this Arctic series, they are all good. They are really good. I have a couple of them, but I've been using like one headset in particular, and it is this one. And this I've been using since 2018, and it came with a little USB box that you plug it into your computer, and you have a display, what's going on in the game, and it was also a charger. So when the battery ran out of this wireless headset, you could just replace the battery here and put it in, in the charger again. So you always have like a fresh battery ready when it runs out the batteries. However, the sound quality into this one, I thought it was nice. I thought it was nice, but when I tried the new Arctix Nova 7, this was crap. After four years of use, every day, the head strap had become kind of sloppy, and also, you know, the soft hair is too soft, and yeah, it's, it, does, it doesn't, it's not fresh anymore. So I needed a fresh pair of headsets, the new Arctix Nova 7, from SteelSeries, yeah, you know, the Danish company that we just mentioned. Anyways, these are so much lighter, that you, you can't even feel them when you have them on your head. And we can start from the very top. The top is really nice, clean, in you know, matte black. The head strap here is so much solid than the previous one, and it has a pattern inside it, so it doesn't slip on your head. It stays in place. And it's, it's nice, and it's easy to adjust them. They are right on, and they fit my ears so great. I mean, I like to have my ears inside the actually cup. I don't want to have like the cup on top of my ears, like some people like that, but I'd like to keep my ear inside here to cancel all the noise that's going on on us. I just want to be me in the game or movie, whatever I do. I use this for a reason and it's to get close to the sound. And when it comes to gaming, sound is really important, especially in CSGO, so you can hear where your enemies are. Using these ones compared to the older ones is like a day and night. It's like day and night. The, the difference is so much with the new sonar system, which you download on their homepage. It's called GG, the software, makes it all easy. You go just, it's just a walkthrough. You can adjust everything you like to. You can even point out which game you're playing so you get exactly the perfect sound to your headphones. I know on Reddit, some geeks have criticized it for being kind of a weird software or it's it's really lame and stuff like that. It's not true, it's really good. And if you watch their comments dates, I mean, SteelSeries have made some great updates since then, so, well, I will give it like a four plus. It's a, it's a great software to use with these headphones. So if you're buying these, download that GG because it's great. And GG is, I mean, the name is, is not a coincidence, right? GG, yeah, okay. But you really need a GG to make these headphones pop. 
I know some people use the Razer software instead to, to boost up the volume, but the volume in this one is really high. I don't know if they realize there are two volume buttons here and both need to be on max to get out max of these headphones. All right, so what do those volume controls do? Well, this happened to me yesterday. I was gaming in this, yeah, we had like a competition game and well, you know, you, you're very into it. And when the phone rings, mm, it's not a great way to answer it. But I did because it was my girlfriend, so I answered it. And she popped up inside the headphones. So I could game, hear the game sound loud and clear, clear and her voice and talking to her at the same time I'm gaming. This is so awesome. I mean, now you can game and talk in the phone in the same headset. That's so nice. I've never done that before. Maybe you have, but I haven't. And not with these old ones, I didn't do either. The downside with it is, don't forget it on. When you pop it on power, the Bluetooth goes on as well, of course. But when you just push the power button to turn them off, the Bluetooth is still there. If it's, I mean, if you have connected to your iPhone, for example, the Bluetooth will be on. So you need to turn on separately the Bluetooth as well. If you forget that, you will run out of batteries and well, they will be dead when you're going to use them. But don't you worry, you can use them while you charge them and you charge them with a USB-C. I know I said like, oh, what a company, they bring you an uh, extended cable for the USB-C. It was not an extension cable for the USB-C, it was actually an adapter for USB-C for those guys who don't have any USB-C port ready to, to put the dongle in. So I'm one of those guys, so I needed to pop this in and put the dongle inside this adapter and it works great. The thing is, when you charge them, when you're playing, it's great, but you only need to do that in 15 minutes. 15 minutes of charging give you six hours of gaming, which is good. A full charge battery gives you 48 hours of gaming, which is even better, right? So you don't need to worry about running out the batteries. You just pop in the cable and you're good to go. On the previous one, you had a battery that you switched. I think that is better, but it's also a compression of weight because those batteries is kind of heavy and this headset is very light. So uh, if I need to choose between popping in the USB cable or switching batteries, well, it's kind of a hard one. But I think it will go for USB-C cable anyways, because you only need to charge it for 50 minutes. And you can you see on the warm-up even if it's running out of batteries, you just look at the power about it. And if it is on, on yellow, well, you have like 40% left. Could be, I mean, time for charge it for like, 50 minutes and then go into to, to game mode and, and play the match and you have fully charged batteries. So the batteries and any issues. I know there are guys that are like very skeptical to go wireless when it comes to gaming, especially CSGO because it's marginals that counts. I don't know the latency here. I can't feel any latency to be honest. I think the latency is like 0 0.002 milliseconds or something like that. But again, you have a latency in the cables too. And sometimes even the resistance in the cables make more latency than the Bluetooth do. Text me if you, if you are feeling like, well, the latency of the sound is like watching an old Kung Fu movie. He thinks he's Bruce Lee. You wanna bet? Damn you! Wanna fight, huh? Fight me! Yeah! The battery is great, the fitting is awesome, the sound quality is so nice with the sonar and the GG system. So download that. Reaching the bottom is the bottoms is really easy, it's easy to catch. You have two volume controls, one is for the phone and one is for the game, and they can play really loud to watch your ears. You also have a noise cancelling system uh, inside the GG system, which you can adjust there how much you want it. Don't expect too much about the a noise cancelling system because these are not noise cancelling headsets. That's just a feature, but well, it gives you a little effect of noise cancelling, but it's not like 90% cancelling the sound around you. It's, uh, it's just make it a little bit better for you when you game. Overall, I'm really impressed of the sound quality of this one. It's so good. It's so ridiculous good. It feels like you have the AK47 inside your room when you're gaming. It's so nice. It's, it's so realistic sound. It's, it's ridiculous. And you hear everything that's going on. And even if you, you know, in CSGO, you can hear those small little sounds peaking like in the background. You hear them here perfectly. So you know, you kind of feel it's how far it is to it. 
And it's the first time I, ga I gamed with this one, I was like, huh, this is like watching full HD for the first time. Everything was so bright. Uh, it's the same with this. I mean, yeah, I heard that people, you know, recharging their, their AK-47 like miles away. It's so awesome. It's just good. I'm not paid to rave. I'm just giving your opinion that the older ones is so trashy now. When the new one came, it's because the difference between those two are ridiculous high. They are so far away from each other. I don't think it's, a, it's the same brand even, and this is super heavy. I hopefully this will give me global elite again. I just lost it. Cheaters. Anyways, that's it for me. I'm Leon and all that jazz. If you like my channel, subscribe and like it here, or you can jump in on my Instagram. I'm Leon Official. And don't forget, if you want Lars, you know, the little green robot, just text me here and I will send it to you. No worries. I always keep my word. You will have Lars inside your postbox. Okay? See you later. Peace. Arrivederci. I'm out.